Part 10, we are going to focus on the perimeter of combined figures. You will find this on page 209 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Now always do these sums in four steps. Now the previous sums we were doing in three steps. We were writing down the formula. We did substitution in brackets and then we did the calculation. But in this one, also include a plan, a plan of action. And then you write down the formula and then you do substitution in brackets and then you do calculation. Okay, let's look at the addition one. If you connect figures together. Now we are only going to focus on the perimeter. Now remember, the perimeter is the distance around the figure the outside line. Okay, so if you combine a semicircle with a square, the distance, the perimeter, will just be the outside lines, the distance around the outside lines. So find the perimeter of the figure. So the perimeter indicated by the black line around the outside of the figure. Okay, now let's first, the, the shapes. The shapes will be a semicircle as well as a square. The radius, now remember, if I, let's just mark this, if this is 6, then this is also 6, but that's the diameter. So what will the radius be? It will be 6 divided by 2, and that will be 3 centimeters. Okay, now let's find the perimeter. So if we find the perimeter, let's just mark this, it's going to be, a half circle up to there, it's a half circle. Then it's only one, two, three sides of the square that's on the outside, not this side. So this is my plan. It's a half circle plus three sides of a square. Now I can substitute the formula. Now what is the formula for the perimeter of a circle? It's two or the circumference, two pi r. What is the formula? For the sides of a square, it's 3 times s. And now I do my substitution. And then I basically just use my calculator to find my final answer. Okay. I want you to stop the video. And I want you to do for me. Okay, let's just mark it. Try now 15. You can stop the video. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Now, I'm going to first mark for you the perimeter. So if I ask in this case, first I'm going to mark it like this. So the perimeter is going to say be there. Then it's this, plus this, plus this, plus this. So basically, just remember, if I start there, okay, so it's that, okay, let's just redo that. I'm just going to use a line. So it's going to be that. Okay, as well, okay, let's just use my pen then. Then it's that circle. Sorry, it's not very correct. So let's try to redo it a bit more correct. Okay, and then it's again that side. It's a little bit low. And then it's again this circle around. Okay, now this is not very marked very clear, so I'm going to just um, delete this. But if you look at this, so let's start. It's try now 15. Try now. And this is going to be 15. Okay, now if I want to, to find the perimeter of the combined figure, now I must first write down a plan. Now, what will this be? Now, if you look, this is a half circle. And this is also a half circle. So a half plus a half will be one circle. The perimeter or the circumference of one circle. Plus, it will just be two sides of the square. So two sides. And that will be of the square. So basically, now I'm just going to write down my formula. Now, what is the circumference of a circle? So it's 2 pi r. What is a square? So it's just s. 
So what is pi? It's 3,14. So in brackets, which is right, so it's 2. So it's 3,14. What is the radius? Now, um, let me just write it down here. So to find the radius, I just take the diameter. Now, if this is a square, then this will be 10, this will be 10, this will be 10. So then the diameter will be 10 divided by 2. So what will be the radius? It will be 5. So I just substitute a 5 there. And then in the place of the side, that will be 10. And then if I press it on the calculator, this will be 31.4 plus that 20. And that will give me 51.4 centimeter. And that's, this is my plan. This is my formula. This is my substitution. And then I calculate to find my final answer. Okay. Let's look at that. So this, in this case, it was a square and I added two circles. Okay, but let's look at the next one. Um, I want you, I want you, I want you to do try now 16. Try now 16. And I think to do, to do it a little bit different, I just want you to do number A. Okay, we will go through the plans of this too. Uh, and you can write down the plans of this too, but do the full calculation of number A. So this will be, you can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, so in this case, remember, it's just the perimeter. Leave the area first, just the perimeter. So if I want to find the perimeter, now, this is very important. Before you start working out the perimeter, you must just remember that the horizontal side, this will be equal to this plus this plus this. And I'm just going to mark it here for you. So if I take this and I take this and I take this, it will be equal to this one. Okay. So according to that, I can calculate the missing one. So this is 2 and 2. So I can say 12, subtract that 2, subtract that 2, and that will give me an answer of 8. Okay, let's just redo that. That will be an answer of 8. Let's just see if I have my vertical sides. Now this is 6, this is 6, this is 2. I don't need that one. Because just remember... Perimeter is just the distance around the figure. So if I start there, okay, let's start there. So let's just write, uh, this is number A. And the perimeter, it's just going to be of the combined figure. We're just going to say perimeter. So it's just add up all the out, very important, outside lines. So if I look at this one, I start there. It's going to be that 12 plus that 6 plus that 8 plus that 2. That one up, that 2. Plus that 2, that's already marked. Plus this 2 down. Plus this 2. Plus this 6. And if I add up all that sides, I will get an answer of 40, let's just mark it, 40 meters. And that will be the perimeter of this figure. This one, I'm just going to go um, er through. So if I ask this, it will be a half circle plus this side, a short side, plus one long side, plus one short side. So it will be a half circle plus two short sides plus a long side. And if I ask you this perimeter, it will be this half circle plus this half circle plus this half circle. And remember, this is the diameter. So this radius will be 4, this radius will be 3, and this radius will be 5. And that's how I work out the perimeter of combined figures if I have to add the formula.